You're listening to The Daily Nugget, dnugget.com for Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. Do not adjust your podcast player. Yes, The Nugget is back. Daily! It was Woo. 10 years in the remaking, and so now we're sticking with the same uh, tried and true format as before. So today is Tijuana Tuesday, where we take a look at other countries and laugh at Ooh. what they do. We're going to the UK for this one, across the pond. Across, mm -hmm. across the pond. Across. As as always, your accents are terrible. <laughs> yeah, why are we doing this? <laughs> so you had to 10 my... years to get better, and across. you're not better. Right, and he's the, the only one. He's the only. Oh, here we go. Cross the pond. He's the only one still in radio. Crikey! Wow, because <laughs> I haven't found gainful employment any other way. <laughs> Cross the pond. All right, so this is, and, and I got it. I'm going to start with this. This might be one thing that the UK has right, because this is a story about someone who was taking the driver's test there. This is just the written test. Before you even get in the car, you got to pass the written test. It took them 59 times before they passed. 59 times. Now, every time you fail the test, you also have to pay more money. So, And you have to wait a few days. So they spent 60 hours and 1,400 pounds before I finally... That's euros. Isn't that what the E thing is? No, it's pounds. They're still on. They're still in pounds. Oh, I shows you how much I know. Pounds. <laughs> I said it like an English accent, Sam. Like I know what yeah. I'm saying. Did you? You're pounds. <laughs> Crikey! Wow! Oh, wow! They spent okay. nearly sixty hours and nearly fourteen hundred pounds. I think you got <laughs> buddy. Someone stop him, please. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can really um, have a good opinion on this because I passed my test the first time. I did good not. Good for you. Good for you. Did you? Yeah. Sam didn't. Janelle, did you? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, well, why? Why are you <laughs> <laughs> I just figured you gave up. You, they said no. You said, well, make me. You, no. You got. No. You, you, you got. <laughs> No, I she wanted to hurry and get to the the hands-on part. So yeah, to be in her chuck wagon. She, right. she, she no. said, you know, "I don't need a license for this chuck wagon." <laughs> get <Giddy> up! <laughs> this thing doesn't even have an engine. She's got the long horns. Drive it out here on the frontier. I mean, I'm just <laughs> rode it off <laughs> in the sunset. Yeah, you know it. So this is the written test, right? Yeah. Well, you know I what they say: if life hands you lemons make lemonade but <laughs> if life hands you melons you might be dyslexic <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's do this okay let's take a uk driving wait test. janelle did you oh get no that? for real i got that? it i got it okay. i got it okay are you thinking it's harder there than it is Multiple here questions. well that's what i'm thinking because i, I think it's the accent <laughs> do i need to start doing the accent again they must no, correctly no. answer 43 out of 50 multiple choice questions. Then comes a we hazard never, perception test. We never, we never need you to do the accent, <laughs> ever. That's indiscernible. In fact, if I fail, I'm going to blame it on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, so here we go. You can study with the, the practice test. Here we go. To see how much you've learned. Here we go. Here I've is the nothing. free mock test for cars. Start test. All right, we got to get 43 out of 50 to get there. Oh, boy. Oh, my Goodness. gosh. This is so UK. Are you ready for the first one? <laughs> yeah, what, should you do, what should you do when you're passing loose sheep on the road? <laughs> first question. <laughs> Can you get any more stereotypical? How often are people in the UK <laughs> passing loose sheep on the road? <laughs> okay. Is it multiple choice? Yes. Okay. Here's your okay, options. Good. Briefly sound your horn. <laughs> go very slowly. Pass quickly, but quietly. 
or herd them to the side of the road. I feel Janelle has the most experience with livestock. She's actually our livestock <laughs> expert here on the show. True. So what do you think the answer is? I would not do a gentle blast on the horn. I would just go, <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> Janelle's like, lamb chops for dinner. Congratulations, Janelle has chosen an option that is not possible. <laughs> it was briefly sound your horn, go very slowly, pass quickly but quietly, or heard them to the side of the road. So there's not even a <laughs> that's, that's the quietly part, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to let you guys answer that because I have to step out of the room because I'm so frustrated by the question. I don't think I can handle it. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. I'll be uh, right back. Okay, Are Jen. the sheep outside? She has to go herd them. Yeah, out. She, that no, was the maybe best the, the loud noise. Ever. All right, Jen, what do you think? <laughs> I think you heard him to the side. I feel like I've seen that in movies. You get out and you kind of come on and then you go on, right? Okay, let's I, see. I'd here. agree. I'd agree with you. All right. Oh, it won't tell me the answer until you get to the end. So you're following a long vehicle approaching a crossroads. What should you do if the driver signals right but moves close to the left hand curb? Curb is spelled K E R B. <laughs> are you sure you got the, you got the actual at, one <laughs> i'm at safe driving for life dot info and it's from the driver and vehicle standards agency curb like maybe they just oh just like how they spell color with an unnecessary u color yeah. okay so you're following along That's vehicle approaching crossroads what should you do if the driver signals right but moves close to the left hand curb warn the driver about the wrong signal wait behind the long vehicle Report the driver to police or overtake on the right-hand side. Ooh. I Some mean, this one's aggressive. an easy one. I get what they're trying to say. I like the idea of overtaking. Uh, yeah, overtake <laughs> is pretty solid. That's awesome. And I, don't, I think that's more British language. I, I tend to be a more aggressive driver, so what about I would Jen? Overtake. I feel like hmm? Jen would, would, would warn the driver about the wrong signal. Like, beep, beep, excuse me, beep, beep. I feel like I just be like, like behind, maybe recording, just yeah. you know, for content or something. Just let me just be back here where it's safe. Let me put this on my TikTok. Look at this big old truck. It's very hungry. Blah, blah, blah. It's signaling. Why right, am I a bad Bill Cosby again? Curb K E R B. <laughs> well, what happened to my voice just then? <laughs> I don't know. This is what it sounds like. Good about my Tic Tacs. <laughs> wow. Tic -tac. All right. So Jen said, "Wait behind the long vehicle." Okay. Next question. You better not be putting only my answers. I, uh, no, oh. this one's for Sam. Following a collision, a person has been injured. What would be a warning sign for shock? Flushed <laughs> complexion? Warm, dry skin? Are you touching someone's wound? <laughs> Some strangers. Anyway, no, I, I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to taint uh, Sam's answer here. Uh, <laughs> slow pulse or rapid, shallow breathing? No fair asking your nurse wife for help. Well, she's she went to bed already. <sighs> I would say shallow breathing as much as I want to say warm, dry skin, which seems strange, <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 I'd, I'd say touch your skin. I you just want to touch the skin. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Question four. What could you do to help injured people in an incident? Keep them warm and comfortable. Give them something to eat. Keep them on the move by walking them around or give them a warm drink. I don't, hey, I don't know if any of these answers are great. <laughs> Keep them warm and comfortable. How am I doing that? I mean, at that point, I guess I am testing the temperature of their skin. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're if we're checking to see if they're warm and dry. Um, I, I, don't well, walk them around. Well, I, I feel like cuddling them... might be the next option. So. So Keep that's what I'm going to choose because Jen said, don't I'm choosing. Keep them on the move by walking them around. Next question. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So you're driving towards it's just a head injury. Come on. <laughs> you got to keep the blood flowing. You don't want to stop the blood flowing. <laughs> that is when people die. It's true. The blood flowing from the gashes. You don't want to stop that. Especially if the, the breathing is shallow because it makes the blood go fast. <laughs> Okay, so Jen, I don't know what kind of first aid classes you took at the School of Glory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. But Honestly, I'm not I don't sure. either. For our new viewers, that is the name of her homeschool. By the way, yes. 
That's a throwback. You can find that episode. When I was a child. <laughs> You're, you always talk about it being current. I'm not currently homeschooled. No, wait, we've talked about this before. It's like a rockette. Once a rockette, always a rockette. <laughs> <laughs> Why Once did a you choose rockette? <laughs> Once a homeschooler, always a homeschooler. Always. I don't understand are, why Jen's rockhead. Jen, are you saying that you are no longer learning? In this oh, world, here we go. you've hit, do you have a growth mindset or do you have a fixed mindset? Well, Dr. Phil, I am still very interested Jen, in learning and being Do you people. have a fixed mindset um, or a growth mindset? Uh, are you still in Farmville? Things have gotten worse. You got to get out of Farmville and start a garden for real. All right. So you're driving towards this Thanks. left-hand bend. And it's a bend where there's some giant bush. It's it's the giant hedges of the UK. So you don't see what is happening around this left bend. What danger should you be anticipating? Jeez. A vehicle overtaking you, Jen. Oh. Mud on the road. The road getting narrow, narrower. Or pedestrians walking towards you. E, all of the above. All right. Right? Yep. Mud on the road. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now there's some sign questions that you can't see. All right. What should you do when you're approaching traffic lights that have red and amber showing together? Sam, pass the lights if the road is clear. Take care because there's a fault with the lights. Wait for the green light or stop because the lights are changing to red. I'll bet it stopped changing or stopped because it's changing to red. Is that your final answer? It is final. Answer. I was in uh, one time I was in Canada, which is kind of like Europe light or UK light. <clears throat> and there was a blinking green light. And that meant you could take a left turn. It was like a left arrow, but they didn't, they couldn't have uh, Canada hasn't. Canada doesn't arrows believe yet. in arrows. I get it. So, well, I mean, it's, it's too decisive, right? How dare Canada oppress the other directions? Okay, you're on a soapbox. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. So Sam said, uh, stop because lights are changing to red. All right, Janelle, next question. Yeah. Okay. You're in a built up area at night and the road is well lit. Why should you, you use dipped headlights? D I P P E D. What? What is that? <clears throat> Headlight is because they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and what flavor? Are Why they chocolate? And what flavor? What? Birthday yeah. cake. So that you can see further along the road, so that you can go at a much faster speed, so that you can switch to main beam quickly, or so that you can be easily seen by others. Uh, I'm going to say C. So that you can go at a much faster speed. <laughs> All right, yes. there we go. Next question. <laughs> so, uh, so we're gonna have to pay to take so this again. There's dipped and main lights, main beam. Like, do they not have brights there? Uh, they must not. They must not. Here, we, okay, here we go. All right, one more question, then we'll get to the end because this is great. You've been involved in an argument that's made you feel angry. I feel like Janelle needs to answer this one too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what should you do before starting your journey? Open a window. <laughs> Turn on your radio. Have an alcoholic drink. I'm not making this up. <laughs> or calm down. I'm going to say D, all of the above. Okay, have an alcoholic drink. Next question. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> always, always go for the booze. Come on. <laughs> all right, I'm trying to go through all of them here. We'll see what we do, how we do. Okay. We can't. We can't. End test. <laughs> there we go. All right. Did the we results. get any of those right? All right. Well, we failed. Yeah. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> prize, prize. All right. Let's see here. Uh, we got 0%. They have different topics. So they have 0% of alertness, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. attitude. Well. <laughs> which is they too bad. Attitude on the road. Uh, let's see here. Uh, other types of vehicle. Yeah, we got that one. When you're following a long vehicle approaching a crossroads, Jen got that one right. That was good. Way to go, homeschool. Um, let's see here. Incidents, accidents, and emergencies. Um, what could you do to help injured people in an incident? Apparently, it wasn't keep them on the move by walking them around. It was keep them warm and comfortable. 
What did I say? I said this cuddle. <laughs> I did say cuddle. <laughs> You're not supposed to give them anything to eat or drink either. So no, no warm, no warm, you know, drinks and stuff like that. No, none of that. They so... stick around forever. We just do the and Janelle, congratulations. Uh, you did have the right answer. If you're mad, you are supposed to drink and then and then get in the car. <laughs> and get in your chuck wagon. <laughs> All right. <Not> and, <laughs> and I w accidentally clicked the back button, so I have no idea on the other ones, but let's just assume we got them all wrong. So we are not legal to drive in the UK, and that's okay, because that's why we declared independence. Yeah, it's yeah. true. America. Seriously, yeah. curb? Wow. K E R. Afterthought question: Don't they drive on the other side of the road over there anyway? <laughs> oh my gosh! It's true. They do. <laughs> yes, they do. They're driving on the wrong side of the road in, in the first place. That's so, exactly. So they got it all wrong from the very beginning. Get go. So it's like they need to take a lesson from us. What's the lesson they should take from us, Janelle? <laughs> do things the right way, the American way, the American way, if you want to say it. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, they need to yell at their sheep, right, Janelle? Yes, and mow them down if they don't get out of the way. Just go off. <laughs> oh, wow. We don't want any friends from there, do we? Oh, man. No viewers from the UK on this show. <laughs> Crikey. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> what? Dude. Well, here's why I say that, and it's not because I'm ruthless when it comes to sheep. Because biblically speaking, <laughs> we're all sheep that have gone astray okay oh, like, that's your spiritual content for this daily nugget there we go. <laughs> and that's the, the daily nugget the pass the buckets the shepherd be leading them. don't be straying from the shepherd the sheep know his voice so go for it sheep. <laughs> and if you're in the road and janelle's yeah. driving watch out for the long honk watch out yeah. the honk. <laughs> it's coming well, that bottom line too. So, to all our lamb viewers. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, for our shepherds and our UK members, you can uh, email us nugget hate mail at gmail Yeah, that's it. That is We're gonna get quite a bit today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, have fun editing that one, Sam. <laughs>